You are listening to Bedtime Dreamy Tales. Please make sure you have smashed that like button and subscribe to our channel for new story. Story title, The Ugly Duckling. Once upon a time, on a charming farm near a sparkling river, a mother duck sat patiently on her nest, waiting for her eggs to hatch. She had laid six beautiful eggs, each one a perfect little oval. But one morning, she noticed something peculiar. Next to her six small eggs lay a seventh egg, much larger and different in color. How strange, she thought. Where did this egg come from? Nevertheless, the mother duck nestled down to keep all seven eggs warm. Days turned into nights, and nights turned into days. One sunny morning, the small eggs began to crack, and out popped six fluffy yellow ducklings, cheeping happily. The mother duck was overjoyed, but the large egg remained unhatched. The mother duck continued to sit on the large egg, warming it with her feathers and love. After another day and night, the egg finally cracked open. Out tumbled a duckling unlike the others. He was big, with scruffy gray feathers, a long neck, and large brown feet. He looked up at his mother with hopeful eyes. You do look different from my other chicks, exclaimed the mother duck, but never mind, I'm sure you've got a heart of gold. She gathered all seven ducklings under her wings and cuddled them close. The big gray duckling, despite his unusual appearance, was sweet-natured and played nicely with his siblings. One fine day, the mother duck decided it was time to take her ducklings to the river to learn to swim. She proudly led her little brood down to the water's edge. One by one, the yellow ducklings hopped into the river and splashed about, learning to paddle with their tiny webbed feet. When the big gray duckling leaped into the water, something magical happened. He swam gracefully, his long neck arched elegantly as he glided through the water. He could swim faster and further than any of his siblings. The other ducklings watched in awe, but soon their amazement turned to jealousy. You're a big ugly duckling, they hissed at him. You don't belong here. When their mother wasn't looking, they chased him away, nipping at his feathers and quacking meanly. The ugly duckling felt his heart break as he waddled away across the fields. I know I'm not fluffy and golden like my brothers and sisters, he said to himself. I may have scruffy gray feathers and big brown feet, but I'm just as good as they are, and I'm better at swimming. He sat down under a bush and started to cry. Suddenly, he heard the sound of barking. A dog was sniffing the ground nearby, coming closer and closer. The ugly duckling held his breath and stayed very still, hoping the dog wouldn't find him. The dog sniffed around the bush but eventually ran off, and the duckling breathed a sigh of relief. As night fell, the ugly duckling felt cold and scared. He wandered through the dark fields, not knowing where to go. Eventually, he saw a light shining in the distance. The light came from a cozy-looking cottage. The ugly duckling waddled over and peeked inside cautiously. He saw a warm fire burning in the hearth, and an old woman sitting by the fire with a hen and a cat. The old woman noticed the duckling and smiled. Come in, little duckling, she said kindly. You are welcome to stay here. The ugly duckling was grateful to warm himself by the fire. But as soon as the old woman went to bed, the hen and the cat cornered him. Can you lay eggs? inquired the hen. No, replied the duckling. Can you catch mice? demanded the cat. No, replied the miserable duckling. Well, you're no use then, are you? they sneered. The next day, the old woman scolded the duckling. You've been here a whole day and not one egg. You're no use, are you? The ugly duckling felt unwanted and sad. I know when I'm not wanted, he said to himself mournfully, and he waddled off out of the cottage. He wandered along for many days, enduring rain and wind, until at last he reached a lake. This lake will be my home, he decided. Here, no one will bother me. He swam in the lake every day, feeling a little less lonely in the company of the fish and the frogs. Months passed and the seasons changed. The days grew shorter, the nights longer, and the weather colder. The trees lost their leaves, and the wind howled through the bare branches. Winter had arrived, and the lake froze over. The ugly duckling shivered under the reeds at the lake's edge, feeling colder and more miserable than ever. One particularly cold night, the duckling collapsed on the ice, too weak to move. But as dawn broke, a farmer and his children found him and brought him to their warm home. They nursed him back to health, feeding him and keeping him warm until spring arrived. As the ice melted and the first flowers began to bloom, 
The ugly duckling felt a strange stirring in his heart. He waddled down to the lake and gazed at his reflection in the water. To his amazement, he saw not a scruffy gray duckling, but a beautiful white bird with a long, elegant neck and bright, sparkling eyes. I'm no longer an ugly duckling, he marveled. But what am I? Just then, three majestic swans flew over the lake and landed gracefully on the water. They swam up to him, their feathers gleaming in the sunlight. You are the handsomest swan we have ever seen, one of them said. Would you care to join us? So that's what I am. I'm a swan, thought the bird that had been an ugly duckling. I would love to join you, he said, his heart soaring with joy. Am I really a swan? he asked, not quite believing it could be true. Of course you are, replied the other swans. You're just like us. The three older swans became his best friends. Together, they swam across the lake, their white feathers glistening in the sun. The swan, who had once been an ugly duckling, knew that he was one of them and that he would never be lonely again. And so the beautiful swan lived happily ever after, embraced by his new family and loved for who he truly was. If you like this story, please give this video a like. For more stories, go to BedtimeDreamyTales.com. See you in the next story.